Hey everyone, it's Naomi. Today I have a very special unboxing. Actually, it's not quite an unboxing. It's the Warby Parker Home Try-On Box. And if you aren't familiar, Warby Parker is a glasses company, so for prescription lenses. And uh, I believe you can get them non-prescription too. And um, I have worn glasses for probably 12 years or so. And um, I haven't gotten new ones for like eight or nine. <laughs> so it's, it's a little overdue, it's time. Uh, these are the ones that you've probably seen me wearing before. I have two pairs that I got nine, eight or nine years ago, and these are um, Prada lenses, or not lenses, Prada frames, and um, not typically my style. I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I think I just liked the color because they're dark purple, um, but these, these lenses are completely out of style now, and it, not that that's like the main reason I need new ones, I need to get a new prescription, but also the shape of these, they're just like, they've always been too small for me. Like they're hard to, there's not very much space. You know what I'm saying? The Warby Parker Home Try-On Box, basically they enable you to shop around on their site, put five frames into a box that you'd like to try on at home, and then you send them back all for free. And you get to try things on before making a purchase. I'm not quite ready to buy any yet because I do need to get a new prescription for my lenses. However, I thought it'd be really fun to try some of these on at home and play with kind of what frames are out there and what the hell is up with my hair? I mean, by the way guys, this is what my hair does if I just let it air dry. It's like Hermione hair. It's half curly, half straight, and it looks like the mane of a lion. Okay, anyway. Uh, in the box they have this fun little pamphlet which has like coloring thing on the uh, other side and just explains about their frames and inside it looks like this. We've got all the glasses in there and so I chose ones that kind of looked cool to me and a lot of these come in alternate colors also if you go on their site which I will leave a link below. So the first pair that I'm going to try on are these two-toned ones. And again, everything that, uh, that you're going to see here comes in probably different colors. They all usually come in black and then like two or three other colors. So um, these ones are the Laurel 615 in Tea Rose Fade. And I think I really like the shape of these. What do you guys think? Um, I really love how they're bigger than my old glasses, first of all. And that's kind of the trend lately anyways. And I really like that because it's easier to see. You don't have like these things in the middle of your vision. So I really like the shape of these and I, I think I really do actually like the, um, the two-tone, like the half tone um, rose on the bottom. So that's number one. Number two is called the Goodney 765 and this is in Heathered Plum for the color. And again, I probably chose these for the color when I was picking them out online, as you can see. Maybe you can't really see there. There you go, now you can see that kind of purpley color. Um, and I like these two. These have like a thicker frame around the edge. And um, yeah, I don't know. I really like the shape. They're almost a little more cat eye than the other ones, but not quite. And they're kind of um, funky, which is definitely my style. So that's choice number two. Number three is the Laurel 17 667 in Rose Quartz. I think it would be really fun to get a pair of glasses, maybe like one dark and one light. Um, I'm really loving all of the light pink kind of crystal-like frames that they have lately on their site. Um, and these ones are a very pretty pink color. What do you guys think? Choice number three. These have like a Rose Quartz type frame. I really like that. I like not having like a super dark... What is wrong with my blush? It looks really weird on camera today. Number four is a... They call these lavender crystal. I guess they are kind of slightly lavender, but they look almost clear to me. Um, these are the Cullis 525 in lavender crystal. So those are a little bit bigger than the last ones I had on, but um, like a more cool tone crystal almost clear color and I like these a lot too so there's choice number four and number five is the Daisy 147 in Aurelia uh, tortoise so 
so these ones have kind of like a tortoiseshell look to them and these frames are quite thin compared to especially the um the good knee ones which were the thicker frames so this is the last one these ones don't come up quite as high like above the bridge my nose is really my ears are crooked um but these are like kind of a thinner frame and still have like big frames but they don't like i said quite come they don't cover my eyebrows in other words which is a good thing i don't necessarily want my eyebrows covered by the lenses sorry for all the reflection guys it's kind of hard to avoid with uh glasses so this is choice number five. I think I might like the shape of these ones the best, but it's hard to uh, hard to decide. So I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments down below if you liked any of these and which ones you liked best. I would love your opinion. Um, I'm not necessarily buying one of these five pairs. It was just the first five that I really wanted to try on and experiment with. I could probably in a month do a whole nother box try on if I wanted. They're constantly coming out with new designs. Um, but yeah, I thought this was really fun to do and to show you guys that there is a way to try on glasses frames from home. And yeah, if you need new glasses, I think it's always fun to have more than one pair on hand as someone who pretty much lives in glasses except for when I'm making a lot of my videos. <laughs> and uh, yeah, gotta read those books. Definitely check out their site down below. I will leave the link. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you want to uh, see more videos from me in the future. I make videos mostly about natural beauty and books and sometimes about writing and other things uh, like glasses. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are and yeah, I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!